Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And it's time to check out a phone that you most likely have not heard about. Now the name of the phone is the Red Magic 3 from a company called Nubia, which is a subsidiary of ZTE. This phone starts at $480 and you get a lot of good specs. You get the latest Snapdragon 855 processor, you get eight gigabytes of RAM, you have a 90 Hertz refresh rate display, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, a lot more. So let's go ahead and open this guy up, see what comes in the box and get some first impressions. Again, here is the Red Magic logo on the front of the box. I do want to point out a couple things. First of all, this is kind of marketed as a gaming style phone. It actually includes a fan on the inside. So interested to see if that's actually going to make a lot of noise. Uh, it also has an RGB strip, dual stereo front speakers, and a lot more. So let's go ahead and open it up. Right away, you are greeted with the phone. Now I do have the red color. They also have a new camo color. Uh, coming out, which does have 12 gigs of RAM instead of eight. So we will go ahead and take this out of the pla plastic right there. And you'll see definitely a different style to the design. Could appeal to some consumers. Some people might not like it. Drop a comment. Let me know if you actually like the design of this phone. I'm going to set it to the side for a sec. We're going to check and see what else comes in the box. So first of all, you do have your charging brick. Taking off the plastic, very simple. 12 volts, one and a half amps to the adapter. Next, you do have your charging cable, which is USB type A to USB type C. You'll see more of a red and black theme to it, kind of goes along with the phone color. Last box, you do have a SIM ejection tool and what looks to be some stickers, warranty card, and a quick start guide. Let's go ahead and move on to the phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and while it boots up, let's take a closer look. So down at the bottom is your USB Type-C charging slot, a speaker grill, actually not a speaker grill. I'm guessing this is just some sort of ventilation or probably a place for a microphone because right here is actually a speaker, a front facing speaker right there. And then the other front facing speaker, it couples as the earpiece. Now going along the side, you'll notice a lot of things on the side. So you do have some pins here. They have some add-on accessories. I will link to it down below where you can check out their site. And if you wanna check out what extra accessories you can plug into this phone, that's what these pin connectors are for. And then up here, you actually have a toggle for, I believe, silent or uh, ring. On the right is where the volume rockers and power button are. No texture difference between them. And then what looks to be just more ventilation. This is probably around where the cooling fan is going to be. Moving up to the top, a headphone jack. Really nice to see in any phone that's out right now. On the back, you have the camera with flash. You do have a fingerprint scanner, a physical one. Now these are actually some RGB lights going around the corners to my knowledge. We will turn those lights on in just a second. On the front, 6.65 inch 1080p AMOLED display with that 90 Hertz. We're gonna have to read through these. I'm a speed reader, just read through all of those. Go ahead and hit start. I am noticing that there is a screen protector on there and like I do in most of my unboxings, I'm gonna actually go ahead and peel it off. There we go. So take that off and I'm gonna skip through the setup, only talk about anything that is noteworthy. Let's go ahead and set up that fingerprint scanner. Something I'm noticing while holding the phone is that it kind of comes out to a point towards the middle of the back of the phone and then goes back down just holding it. It's just a little bit sloped, not a big deal. Let's go ahead and press our finger on that scanner just up and down like usual run through. At this point, fingerprint scanner should be quick and fast on every phone, especially physical ones. In display, a little bit different. Fingerprint added, we can add another if we'd like to or skip through. All right, so a little bit of a noise when you go to your home screen there. Looks like it does have different icons as well. Here is everything that's installed out of the box. Not a lot of apps. If we swipe down, you will see there is a system update downloaded. Right away, I'm noticing that 90 hertz refresh rate, so it does look very smooth. Jumping into settings, we can go ahead and go into storage. So you'll see 9.58 gigs is used out of the 128 gigs right out of the box. Let's go ahead and test out that fingerprint scanner. So with the display off, just set my finger on it, vibrates and unlocks with the display on, set it down and it unlocks. Also worth noting, I have not heard the fan at all. Maybe it only turns on when the processor hits a certain temperature, if you're playing a heavy 
game. Now, I do want to go ahead and jump into settings. This definitely has a bit of a custom theme to it. Out of the box though, you do have Android 9 Pie, which is nice. Let's go into that multicolor LED strip. So you can go ahead and really customize everything. Turn the lights down so you can see the LED strip. There's a lot of different ways you can actually have it activate, whether there's music playing, an incoming call, notifications while charging. Also, this is actually not a volume mute rocker. This actually will put it into a game mode. So if I go ahead and activate it, I'll actually swipe up on it. You will see it will go into this sort of game style mode, separate game space. And then we can go ahead and start game acceleration. You can add specific ones, cooling fan, Aurora band. Now on the back here, take a look. There is that RGB strip, which of course, like I mentioned, you can customize to your liking. Also, while in this mode, I noticed the fan turned on. So it does make a little bit of noise, nothing crazy, but you can actually hear the fan noise coming out of the phone. Jumping into the camera, you'll see you do have a pro mode, camera family, which has a few different modes as well, video mode. Now, something interesting about these video modes, if we go ahead and go into more settings, take a look at the back camera video quality, 8K beta, recommended for outdoor use. I believe it's only 15 frames a second, if I'm not mistaken. So you can shoot in 8K, not 8K, not 100% sure how great that quality is going to be. We can snap a couple pictures so you can kind of see the shutter speed, just switching angles and taking pictures. Now this one's a little bit larger and a little bit heavier. It does have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery though, which is very large. Now I do want to jump into display settings because I want to go in and see if you can change the refresh rate and it does not look like you can. I do want to jump back into our app drawer. You'll see very minimal apps, no real bloatware. It does have an LED strip app. So you'll see you can actually really customize it with frequency, brightness, LED effects. Maybe you want to go ahead and change the color, flicker, flow, flash, collider. So if we go ahead and flip it over, it looks like it's not actually activated, uh, but we can go ahead and do so just real quick for the video's sake. Show it off one more time. Overall, that's about everything I want to show off on the Red Magic 3 for now. Really enjoying the 90 hertz refresh rate on the display. Again, sub $500, so very competitively priced phone with the latest Snapdragon processor as well. So we'll need to do a little bit more testing, of course, especially with the camera as well on the back. Does seem to have a lot of... I wouldn't necessarily say gimmicks, but features for people that like to play a lot of games on their phones, such as the paddles up here. Of course, interesting having a moving fan in the phone. Overall, be sure to drop a comment. Let me know if you actually like the design of this phone or not. Be sure to click that thumbs up as well. Subscribe for more videos to come very soon. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.